Wouldn't you watch a James Bond combine? A James Bond. Yes. <laughs> yes. We're on it now. We're on it. Because you say, again, that the Bond producers want to find somebody that is not well known. Yes. They want to find somebody that is not well known and recreate Bond. And we're coming up with sports figures who are too famous. Too famous. A Bond combine would be great. Let's walk through this. Wait, wait, got it. You got a heightened measurement would be huge. Obviously. Obviously. The Wonderlick. You you got to got to be a smart bond. You got to be a smart bond. You got to check for psych, you know, uh psych evals. Uh, psych evaluation. Yep. Got to have that. Um the 40 yard dash. Got to be fast. Got to be able to run. Got to be, be able, able to jump. Run. Run. 40 in your suit. <laughs> we got to have a broad jump because you got to jump off buildings and you got to be able to ride a motorcycle. But that's the whole thing is that you don't do the broad jump. You literally have to create a ledge here right? and, you're, and a ledge there. And you got to jump over. Jump, correct. Yeah. And see, you know, and then see where the ledge, where, where you land on the other ledge, like the other side. We need to make it movable. So you start with like, can you jump over this eight foot hole? Yes. Can you jump over a nine foot hole? Correct. And it just keeps going bigger and right. bigger. Yeah. I think being dexterity plays a part, right? Your hand speed, because you're going to be making martinis, right? Shaking, shaking well, them the, up. So it's no, like. No, no, no. I mean, <laughs> I've never seen Bond make his own martini. Have you? I don't watch James Bond movies. See, that's what I'm saying. But I'm sure <laughs> he does. That's clear. That's clear. Isn't that clear that, like, what Bond has Bond, has Bond ever made his own martini? Okay. He always got, orders them. Bond. We all know. Uh, so you tell me, <laughs> out guy. of 35 James Bond movies, the man never once was at home and made his own cocktail? The, the, the uh, come on. Shaken. I don't. Shaken, not, not stirred. I don't. Uh, he's always ordered it. He doesn't make his own stuff. Nah. DJ, no. I like where your head's at. You're a thinking man. Thank you, man. This guy <laughs> just, you know. Man. I didn't mean to shut it down. You really did. We yeah. could have just rolled with that, but no. Bond doesn't make his own drinks, but I like where you're going in that direction. No, but the dexterity. Yeah, dexterity, mm -hmm. you like had it, it first. Uh, here's the test, though. The test, <laughs> the test is how quickly can you go from here to there? Dun -dun. Yes. Yeah, right. Exactly. Like how quickly, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, you have to put a, a timer on that. It's like a, a cone drill. Cone drill. It's like a cone drill. Like the first five yards instead, of the 40. Cone is just how quickly can you go from just your regular stance yep. to that? You also have to be able to fight. So we need some sort of like punching bag situation. We can get those. Or what? what's what's the Bond combine ball on a stick? You know what I mean? Well, not to go back to what he said at the very beginning. I'm into all of this. It's funny because I'm looking at a picture of Sean Connery right now with a bottle in his hand. Oh, pouring he's a drink. still stuck on it. Oh, yeah, I'm stuck on it. I'm for sure I'm but stuck on it. Just the way you just dismissed it. I, did, like, I don't think he ever makes a he – he doesn't make his own drink. So you may tell me with all the lady company that James Bond has over, he's got someone coming over late night making those drinks, or is he sending is he sending uh, P. Galore off to the bar to make her own drink? <laughs> no, he's shaking and so stirring his own drinks. Goldfinger is the only Bond movie he's seen then. <laughs> no, I saw the one with Jaws, you know. So that's the Roger Moore era. Look, I'll be honest with you. James Bond isn't big in my community. I'm just going to be real with you. Altoona? That Doesn't... part of it, yeah. You know, in the bigger sense of my community, James Bond isn't that big. So, you know, I'm trying to help you out. Why are you so... He, he, I don't understand why he's... That's fine. This, so is, gr this, is, all great. this is all great. What happened? Because you tried to play me, and I'm I knew it was you. Right. You did try to... You just immediately, like, oh, I've never seen him do that. Like, oh, my God, we're having fun. <laughs> so I had to prove... To Excuse me. We are having fun. <laughs> well, we but were until you made it awkward. No, then sometimes... You, know, you just made we it We need to get serious, because if we're going to make this Bond combine happen, we've got to be serious about it. <laughs> well, clearly. <laughs> you know it's a good here we, if we're looking at NBA players, right? Obviously not superstars. So it's gotta be that middle guy. Yeah. What about Austin Reeves? Hmm. As Bond. Hmm. I don't know, man. He's he's he I don't, he needs to he he's gotta hit the gym. There's no London guys in the NBA. No British I mean, players. John Amici played in the NBA. Oh, John Amici, long, good a long one. time ago. They call it netball <laughs> over there, I believe. <laughs> Luau Ding. <laughs> Tony Parker would have been a good Bond, even though he's, he's French. French. Oh, he has the look. He okay. had the look. Jose in Santa Barbara, you're here on the Rich Eisen Show. What's up, Jose? Hey, Rich, how are you? What's going on? 
What's up, TJ Brockman? Hey, what up, Rick? My man. Uh, so just calling because a little disappointed in uh, Rich's reaction to Otani being a, a Bond. Yes. Because, you know, you gush over him, and he does everything for the Angels. He, he does. He hot dogs. He pitches. You know, he hits home runs. He's, he does everything, with, which is what Bond does. Right. Yeah. I think he's too tall, though, right? I mean, how – how tall is well, Edel- Edelman's too short. I don't know. How, hold on, Edel- let's, Edelman's let's in that see how big these five, five eight range. Edelman is five ten, so he's the same height as Daniel Craig. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's see. Roger Moore was a tall man. Let's see. Roger Moore uh, height. Do we know this? Let's look it up. He, I feel like he's up. Pierce Brosnan was tall too. Pierce Brosnan, I feel like was six. But one, I got six, another Roger one. Moore was six I one. Got another one, Rich. Yeah. Um, how about for the villain? Altuve. <laughs> Altuve is love it. Altuve is a great Bond villain. Right? And you know what? That just you know mm-hmm. you just unfortunately removed this film from all Houston movie theaters. That they're not going to show up now. That's okay. They, they don't need to show up. Thanks for the call. Appreciate it, Jose in Santa Barbara. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern, for free. 